Biomedican is a biotechnology firm that is conducting leading research into synthetic biology and cellular agriculture. Now, the company is working on developing a production of high value compounds using biosynthesis, and that will create new treatments for multiple medical conditions such as diabetes, respiratory, autoimmune disease, and many others. Biomedican is marshaled experts across the globe, leaders in their respective fields to ensure the speed and success of these efforts. So, with me uh, to explain what Biomedican is doing is the CEO, Max Mikheev. So welcome. So, Hi, Jen. Thank you for great. inviting me. So tell me your background, which is very interesting, and what led you to start this company? Mm -hmm. uh, Jen, uh, I have an uh, MD and PhD, uh, and I received my uh, education in Russia. I got my PhD in one of uh, the famous uh, scientific centers uh, for study uh, biological agents and uh, biotechnology. Uh, it is a vector. For example, only two organizations in the world has a smallpox collection. One is CDC Atlanta and second vector in Russia. Uh, after receiving PhD, I moved to the United States in 2006 and I worked for National Institute on Aging, uh, a part of NIH for several years. And after this, I worked for UPMC in Pittsburgh for several years. And uh, two years ago, I started uh, Biomedican. In Biomedican, we're developing a uh, technology of production of rare cannabinoids using biosynthesis. Okay. Um, it's a fascinating background. So okay. what was it that drew your interest to CBD and cannabis-derived compounds? It is a really interesting plant. It was used by humans in more than 5,000 years. And, uh, CBD, uh, and uh, um, there are a lot of rare cannabinoids in uh, cannabis, which can treat multiple different medical conditions. Uh, for example, uh, some of these compounds can treat um, uh, diabetes, uh, oncology, uh, autoimmune disease. And, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and the legalization of it mm -hmm. kind of partially, and I know the Farm Bill mm -hmm. uh, really had a huge impact in this industry. Mm -hmm. So that kind of opened a door for you, right? Yes, but uh, in reality, um, biosynthesis is a little bit different compared to regular cannabis. Because uh, federal law has uh, several lines uh, in Schedule 1 related to cannabis. Uh, line 1 is um, cannabinoids uh, like marijuana products. Marijuana products defined as anything which is produced from marijuana plants. We are using yeast. Yeast is not plants. So this line is not applied for us. Okay. Second line is uh, THC. So we cannot produce THC. It's completely legal for us, either in California and many other states. We cannot produce THC, and we are not planning to produce. Okay. The another line, uh, another law regarding uh, uh, drugs is drug analogs. Uh, drug analogs defined as any compounds with similar structure which have a similar or stronger psycho effect. Cannabinoids, uh, most of tested cannabinoids, don't have any psycho effect or have significantly smaller effect compared to THC. Mm -hmm. So this line also not applied for us. It means that our products will be federal legal uh, in the United States. So Max, what was it about CBD that interested you? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are interested in production, uh, not CBD, we are interested in production of rare cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. CBD right now overproduced and the price on the market is around $1 per uh, gram. So there are a lot of other rare cannabinoids which is uh, not present on the market or extremely expensive due to production from plants. Example is THCV, CBCA, CBJ, and many others. Uh, for example, THCV has a, a, a price $65 per gram and uh, it can treat multiple uh, medical conditions. Uh, for example, it can help uh, against uh, it has neuroprotective effect. It can be used for against uh, Alzheimer and Parkinson. Mm. It uh, also has um, uh, bone formation effect. Can be used for osteoporosis and similar disease. And uh, it has a uh, uh, reducing appetite effect. And it can be used for wealth management. The total market for rare cannabinoids is uh, potentially uh, above three hundred billion dollars because it can treat multiple different uh, medical conditions. Okay. Well, and, and when you talk about diabetes and respiratory, and I mean, those are all growing markets. So yes, it's and certainly uh, be huge for. It's also uh, helping a lot. So. Uh, one of the interesting features of cannabinoids is that they can go to brain, they pass in through encephalitic barrier, so it potentially can open possibility to create a new type of uh, antibiotics which are killing bacteria in brain, not wow. only in other parts.
And uh, we'll be able to produce these rare cannabinoids uh, uh, much faster and much cheaper and make them affordable compared to cannabinoids produced from plants. Interesting. Okay. And then what, so what is the difference between synthetic mm -hmm. and then also natural? And kind of explain, is there a, a variation in quality between mm -hmm. those? Yes. Yeah, when people talking about synthetic cannabinoids, they usually mean chemically synthesized. Uh, chemically synthesized uh, compounds uh, they often not identical to natural and they could have contamination with uh, uh, really uh, toxic compounds. What I'm uh, regarding are not completely um, identical to uh, natural. So basically some organic compounds, they can have same amount of atoms, same connection between atoms, but they have little bit different structure, different shape. So uh, it's called isomers, uh, stereoisomers. Most famous stereoisomers is trans fats. So it means that uh, one bond is, has different direction. It's trans instead of cis. Hmm. So when we're talking about biosynthesis, uh, we are using uh, genes, we are using enzymes, which are producing ex uh, exact molecule in plants. We transfer this enzyme to yeast. So we have completely identical structure in yeast uh, uh, to what plants produce. Okay. And of course, we don't have uh, any not natural contaminations. Mm. Does that allow you to produce more because you're able to create it in a lab? Yes, uh, using uh, yeast, we will be able to, uh, uh, to target yeast to produce only single uh, cannabinoid. It means it will be able to produce much larger amounts, much larger quantity for rare cannabinoids. Okay. Um, and what about the legality of this issue? It's still a little murky. Um, how does that play into your business? Yeah, legality is, again, as, as I mentioned before, that uh, we are not on Schedule 1 mm -hmm. because... Um, uh, because uh, we are not marijuana products, okay. we are not using plants. Mm. And second is uh, because uh, like, uh, we, we cannot produce THC and we are not going to produce THC. And again, uh, Drug Analogs Act, uh, so it is uh, uh, it's required to have a similar structure and uh, stronger, uh, same or stronger psycho effect. Most of cannabinoids don't have any psycho effect. Okay. And what about, what are the benefits of biosynthesis versus traditional agriculture? Mm -hmm. Yes, biosynthesis provides multiple benefits. First of all, uh, it's much more ecologically friendly because uh, we don't need to use lunch land, we don't need to okay. use water, mm. much water, mm -hmm. and we don't have to use pesticides. Okay. So we, don't, we cannot have pesticides contamination. So, and uh, uh, our production cycle will be uh, much faster. So it's uh, usually days instead of multiple months. Max, explain how Biomedicans technology is different than your competitors. Yes, uh, we believe that our technology is much more advanced. We have much better IP uh, on uh, production of our precursors. So we develop a new ways to produce main precursors for cannabinoids production. Um, also, we are using, uh, uh, most of our competitors don't have freedom to operate. Also, we are using a unique way how we come into problems. So, for example, uh, cannabinoids has uh, antibacterial and antifungal effect. So uh, it means that they are toxic for yeast. More cannabinoids uh, produced by yeast, faster they will die. So uh, plants resolve this issue uh, by uh, the issue of the toxicity by using special glands, trichomas, and they put uh, on top of these glands drop of oil. And they produce and store in cannabinoids inside of this uh, drop of oil. So what we are doing, we mimicking these conditions by pull, pull, uh, creating drop of oil by using oil yeast, which have a drop of oil inside, uh, and uh, this is our main benefit. So we believe that uh, Biomedican has uh, advanced technology better than many of our competitors. Uh, we also uh, 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 okay, uh, we, we also uh, have a good target and uh, we have a good market and good um, good opportunities. Mm -hmm. So our technology much more advanced compared to competitors which are valued right now 100 million dollars and above. And then what about Biomedican? I mean your long-term and short-term goals? Yes. So basically, in short terms, uh, we're planning to, uh, to set up production for multiple cannabinoids in the next 12 months. Okay. So uh, I mean like large-scale production. 
Um, except of this, uh, we potentially can go in future for other markets. For example, working on cannabinoids, we will have to optimize uh, multiple pathways. And uh, right now, we have a strain which produce a large amount of precursor. By changing or adding a couple of genes, we will be able to produce uh, other important compounds. Example is terpenes. So uh, usually by adding two genes, we'll be able to produce a new type of terpenes. Uh, some of them has a, rich, a huge volume, for example, pricing like $1,000 per milligram. Uh, another potential direction is, uh, of course, like astaxanthin, it's is carotenoids. Uh, astaxanthin used in large amount for uh, coloring fish. Instead of using, uh, people right now using uh, chemically synthesized astaxanthin for, for coloring uh, farm-raised fish but uh, it's not identical to natural. So we will be able to produce a completely natural form of astaxanthin. Wow, interesting. Well, it's a fascinating industry to watch grow and it has a lot of promise, for yes, sure. Thank so you. thank you so much, Max, for coming in. Thank you for inviting yes. me. Thank okay. you for being here. Yes, and thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.